Hey YouTubers, it's Sam again, and today I'm going to show you how to basically in, in download the software on your PSP that basically lets you plug your PSP into, the, into your computer using a USB cord, and you can uh, play your PSP using your computer screen. So, uh, it's really cool. So here, let me just show you what I mean really quick. Basically, this is what, once you install it and do everything, this is what you'll be able to do. Okay, hold on. See, as you can see, on, on my PSP screen, and on that, it's exactly the same. And if you want, you can make it widescreen, like full screen if you want. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay. First thing you're going to want to do is in the video description, the video description is over there. Simply click on the first link in the video description and it should take you to this page. Now once you're on this page, uh, simply click request download ticket and then click download right there. And download it to your desktop, but I already downloaded it so I'm not going to download it right now. Okay, so basically once you download it, you'll get this. This one that says Remote Joy or whatever, Light, and you either want to extract it or open it up and take the file out. So, but I already extracted it. Okay, so once you extract it or take the file out, you'll have this. So open this up and then uh, plug in your PSP to USB mode. See, so I got a USB cord plugged in. USB connection. Okay. So, hold on a minute. Okay, so, basically, this either this window will pop up, or you just go to my computer, and it'll, it'll either, either say a removable disk or PSP or something like that. So, yeah, and then open it up, and uh, you want to, on the root of your memory stick, don't even open anything up. You basically, what you want to do is so since you when you opened up that this comes and you want to get the C plugins folder and drag it into there. Now as you can see I already have a C plugins folder. So if you already have a C plugins folder, simply open the C plugins folder and then open the C plugins folder on there. And then basically you want to get all those and copy paste them into the uh, C plugins folder. So paste. I copied and now I'm pasting. Okay, so those are all in there now. See all the ones from that folder in the C plugins folder, all those are in the C plugins folder on my PSP now. So like I said, if you already have a C plugins folder, just copy paste all the ones into the C plugins folder. But if not, just drag the whole C plugins folder into the, onto the root of your memory stick. Okay, so once you've done that, so yeah, that's basically what you're going to do on the USB part. And once you get off USB mode, so what you have to do next is basically just uh, unplug your, unplug the USB cord. Sorry. Okay. Unplug the USB cord and completely shut down your PSP. Or you can just uh, press select and just go down to where it says reset device and hold down the R button. So completely shut down your PSP and once you're turning it on, hold down the R button and then basically just you want to go to where it says you want to go to the one that says plugins. I know it's really hard to read but just go to the one that says plugins and then it'll say Remote Joy Light, it'll say like three Remote Joy Light things. So you want to go down the list and press X on all those. And that will enable it. So I went to that one. I'm going to go to the second one. Enable it. Okay, that one's enabled. Now the third one. Once again, press X. And now that one's enabled. So it's hard to read, but they are all enabled now. So basically then what you do is go back. And exit out and your PSP will boot up ok 
Okay, so once it boots up, you can go ahead and plug in your PSP. And so like I said, uh, like I said, inside this folder is the GUI folder, and then you do that one, the remote joy light and dot e e x e or something like that. Just double click that one, and as you can see, there it is. Now, uh, I had already done this before, but basically, if you, uh, if you hadn't done this before, it, your computer might recognize it, and it might say to, uh, it might say, like, new hardware type being found, and you might have to, like, install it onto your computer or something, but uh, I'm not positively sure, so, yeah. Okie dokie, so that's basically how you get Remote Joy Lite on your PSP. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and please subscribe. Thanks, YouTubers. Bye.